The Antichrist is not supposed to be revealed until the Bride of Christ has been taken. A concept echoed through the pages of Scripture and whispered in the conversations of prophecy experts. Yet, something has changed something profound, something hidden in plain sight. As the world hurtles toward chaos and uncertainty, could it be that the one we've long feared has already made his entrance unnoticed? The signs were there, but were we too distracted to see them? Before we answer those questions, make sure you take a second to subscribe so we can show the world how many people are on God's side. Now let's get back to it. Some believe that Jared Kushner could be the Antichrist, a figure long prophesied to rise and deceive the world. His $2 billion deal with the Saudis, combined with his efforts to rebuild the temple in Jerusalem, have raised red flags for those who study biblical prophecy. The fact that Kushner owns the building at 666 Fifth Avenue, an address that echoes the infamous number of the beast and his unusual registration as a woman between 2009 and 2016 are seen by some as chilling signs of his connection to the Antichrist. Could these be mere coincidences? Or are they aligning with the scriptures that foretell the rise of the man of sin who will lead many astray? Prophecy warns us that the Antichrist will come under the guise of peace only to bring ultimate destruction. For centuries, scholars and theologians have attempted to decode the biblical prophecies concerning the Antichrist. The Bible describes this figure as a master of deception who will use diplomacy and charm to gain power, only to reveal his true malevolent intentions later. Jared Kushner, with his unique credibility and influence, particularly in the Middle East, has raised suspicions that he may fit this profile. His negotiation of the Abraham Accords hailed as historic peace agreements, aligns with what Scripture suggests. The Antichrist will bring about a false peace before leading the world into chaos. Kushner's deep ties to Israel also add fuel to the fire of speculation. According to the Bible, the Antichrist will emerge as a figure of great importance to the Jewish people, one they initially trust. His involvement in efforts to rebuild the Third Temple, a key event in biblical prophecy, cannot be overlooked. The rebuilding of this temple in Jerusalem is set to signal the beginning of the final days. Prophecies in the book of Daniel 7 verse 8, while I was thinking about the horns, there before me was another horn, a little one, which came up among them, and three of the first horns were uprooted before it. This horn had eyes like the eyes of a human being and a mouth that spoke boastfully. And Revelation 13 verse 1, The dragon stood on the shore of the sea, and I saw the beast coming out of the sea. It had ten horns and seven heads, with ten crowns on its horns, and on each head a blasphemous name. These verses are commonly cited in interpretations of the Antichrist's rise, describing the little horn. That grows among the ten kings and the beast rising from the sea. It explains the Antichrist emerging from the remnants of the ancient Roman Empire, with many scholars suggesting that this figure will likely come from the Middle East or Europe. Daniel's vision of the small horn rising among ten horns, which represents ten kings or rulers, indicates that the Antichrist will initially gain power with the backing of a coalition of nations. This coalition of ten kings, which could be symbolic of political alliances or economic unions, is central to the Antichrist's rise to global dominance. The imagery of the ten horns and the small horn is not just symbolic but prophetic highlighting how the Antichrist will subtly ascend to power. The prophecy suggests that this figure will not seize control through sheer force, but rather through influence and strategy, positioning himself as a leader with the support of these ten kings. Given the current geopolitical landscape, particularly in the Middle East and Europe, some believe we may already be witnessing the formation of these alliances. Middle Eastern and European powers, which were once part of the ancient Roman Empire, play a significant role in today's global affairs, making them likely candidates for the prophecy's fulfillment. In recent years, the Middle East has gained renewed significance on the world stage, both politically and economically. The region's vast wealth, strategic location, and religious importance could serve as the perfect backdrop for the Antichrist's ascent. As these nations form alliances with global powers, 
The conditions seem ripe for the rise of a leader who can unite these ten kings under his command. The prophecy of Daniel regarding the battle between the Persian Empire, symbolized by the ram, and the Greek Empire, represented by the goat, sheds light on the regions from which the Antichrist might emerge following Alexander the Great's conquest of the Persian Empire. His kingdom was divided into four regions, Egypt, Syria, Macedonia, and Turkey. The fragmentation of this once mighty empire is significant in the context of biblical prophecy, as it points to one of these regions being the birthplace of the Antichrist. Daniel's vision not only foretold the rise and fall of empires, but also suggested that from these fractured territories, the Antichrist would rise. The geographical significance of these regions, particularly their historical influence, and ongoing political importance, makes them key areas in understanding the Antichrist's origin. Many scholars believe that this prophetic figure will come from one of these ancient territories, using his ancestry and influence to gain trust and ascend to power. Further reinforcing this interpretation is Isaiah's prophecy regarding the king of Assyria in Isaiah 10 verse 12, and Isaiah 30 verse 31, where the prophet speaks of the Lord punishing the king of Assyria for his pride, with some scholars suggesting that this king is a foreshadowing of the Antichrist. This theory positions the Antichrist as possibly being of Syrian descent, linking him to the ancient rulers of Assyria and the deep historical and spiritual significance of the region. Syria, with its rich religious and political history, holds a place of great importance in both the ancient and modern world, making it a plausible origin for the Antichrist, according to this interpretation of prophecy. The Antichrist's rise is believed to be closely linked to the geopolitical landscape of the Middle East. And one significant aspect of this connection is the potential forging of strong ties with Islamic nations. The Middle East holds a central place in both religious and political affairs, making it a key region for understanding the Antichrist's descent. Some interpretations of prophecy suggest that the Antichrist will build alliances with Islamic nations to consolidate power, and some interpretations of prophecy suggest that the Antichrist will build alliances with Islamic nations to consolidate power and influence. A notable point of discussion is the parallel between the Islamic messianic figure, known as the Mahdi, and the biblical Antichrist. In Islamic eschatology, the Mahdi is a messianic figure who will bring justice and peace before the Day of Judgment. He is expected to emerge during a time of great turmoil, and is often associated with the unification of the Islamic world. This figure bears a resemblance to the Antichrist in that both are prophesied to come at the end times offering solutions to global crises and promising peace. Some scholars and theologians propose that the Antichrist might present himself as the Mahdi, thereby uniting Islamic nations under his rule by aligning himself with Islamic prophecies and presenting himself as the ultimate Islamic Messiah. The Antichrist could deceive many and gain the trust of the Muslim world. This deception would not only enhance his global influence, but also contribute to the fulfillment of his prophesied role as a master deceiver. The Antichrist's Jewish ancestry plays a crucial role in his ability to deceive the Jewish people. According to biblical prophecy, the Antichrist will come from a Jewish background, which will initially earn him the trust and support of the Jewish community. His heritage will allow him to present himself as a savior figure, someone who understands and respects Jewish traditions and beliefs. However, the true aim of the Antichrist will be far from benevolent. Despite appearing as a messianic figure, his ultimate goal will be to destroy Israel and lead its people astray. The Antichrist will deny the divinity of Christ, a fundamental tenet of Christian faith, and will set himself up as the false messiah. This act of setting himself against the true messiah and demanding worship is a central aspect of his deception. The Antichrist will not only seek to undermine the faith of Christians, but will also work to corrupt and dismantle the religious and spiritual foundations of Judaism by presenting himself as the ultimate savior and promising peace. He will deceive many into worshiping him and accepting the mark of the beast, a symbol of allegiance to his rule. His deceptive actions will lead to a period of great tribulation marked by spiritual and physical suffering as prophesied in the scriptures. Currently, the full manifestation of the Antichrist is being restrained by a divine force, 
commonly understood to be the Holy Spirit and the Church. This restraint prevents the Antichrist from revealing his true nature and fully exerting his influence over the world. The presence of the Holy Spirit and the faithful witness of the Church serve as a protective barrier, maintaining a semblance of moral order and divine truth. However, once the Church is raptured an event in which the believers are taken up to heaven, the restraining influence will be lifted. This will mark the beginning of a period when the Antichrist can fully reveal himself. With the removal of this divine restraint, the world will enter an era of intense tribulation characterized by unprecedented turmoil and suffering. The Antichrist's reign will be defined by tyranny and widespread destruction as prophesied. His rule will be marked by the fulfillment of the mystery of iniquity, a term referring to the hidden operation of evil forces that promote rebellion against God. During this period, the Antichrist will consolidate power through deception and manipulation, leading many astray. The Antichrist will not rule alone. He will rise alongside a false prophet who will perform signs and wonders to further deceive humanity. This false prophet will play a crucial role in convincing people to worship the Antichrist and accept his symbol of allegiance to his tyrannical regime. This collaboration between the Antichrist and the false prophet will lead to a significant spiritual and moral decline, preparing the world for the ultimate judgment. In light of these unfolding prophecies, believers are called to remain vigilant. It's essential to stand firm in faith, discerning the signs of the end times through careful study of Scripture. Christians are urged to trust in God's promises and prepare spiritually for the trials that lie ahead. By remaining steadfast and committed to the truth, believers can navigate the challenges posed by the rise of the Antichrist and the ensuing period of tribulation with hope and assurance. As we reflect on these prophecies and their implications for our world, it's crucial to remember that our faith is our anchor amidst the storm. The rise of the Antichrist and the trials to come are significant but they also highlight the importance of staying true to the teachings of Scripture and maintaining our unwavering trust in God's promises. While the path ahead may be fraught with challenges, we are not left without hope. The Bible assures us that even in the darkest times, God's light will guide us and His grace will sustain us. Let's remain vigilant, grounded in our faith, and prepared to face the trials with courage and conviction. If you made it all the way to this part of the video, you may qualify for our membership. So you might want to listen closely now. It's an exclusive area where we release videos that we cannot show to the public yet. You'll get to see everything first and learn about truths that we cannot reveal anywhere else. If you want to learn more, hit the link on the left of the screen or check out the link in the pinned comment. If you enjoy our content and want to support us, click on the Super Thanks button below. Your Super Thanks is not just a donation, it is a blessing that supports our mission to share the transformative journey of Jesus.